welcome back and thanks for popping in. I am so glad you're here. So for today's video, I'm bringing back an oldie but a goodie. I have a huge Dollar Tree haul to share with you. There's probably eight bags worth of stuff. Um, I woke up on St. Patrick's Day in a weird mood. I just wanted to get out of the house. It was kind of rainy and overcast that day. I had been eating really cleanly. I've been trying to be really careful with my diet in order to help some of my migraines. And that day I decided I was going to have a cheat day and I am a firm believer in cheat days. And so I thought I'm just going to go tool around some Dollar Trees. One of them has a Popeye's chicken and also a Krispy Kreme donuts near it. And I had my day of Krispy Kreme donuts, Popeye's chicken, and strolling around three or four Dollar Trees. Now that might not sound like the perfect self-care day to you, but I had so much fun that day. Anyway, I thought I would share what I got. Now, before I start, I want to say this because I always get comments. Um, not all Dollar Trees are created equal. Sometimes the messiest ones are the ones that have the best stuff. You just have to dig. Um, I kind of have shopped all the Dollar Trees in my area and I know like what has the best books what has the best craft so my my advice to you is if you see a new Dollar Tree pop up around your area pop in and see what they have also get to know when your Dollar Trees actually stock their stores the ones in my areas are stocked on Wednesdays and Thursdays so I try to hit them usually like Thursday morning this particular day I went Friday morning because you can find sort of the best stuff before it gets picked over. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. As we do, if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up. I would love to have you as part of my Georgia Sunshine family. I'm trying to keep this a really positive, nice place to come. So if you're having a bad day, you can kind of exhale and just enjoy and not have to think about the troubles of the day for a few minutes. All right, so here is my first bag. Before anybody comments on the plastic bags, I will say I use these for my cat litter. We have three cats and I use these in my little mini. I reuse them in my bathroom trash cans. So I do reuse the bags. First thing I ended up getting was this humongous thing of Ajax. This one has bleach in it, but for my tubs in my sink, I was just replenishing. I used the last container. I think I had some bone of me um, and I used the last container. So I needed to restock. I actually wish I would have bought a couple more. So next time I go in, I'm going to grab a few because we're totally out and I'd like to have one for, you know, the upstairs bathroom, the kitchen, the downstairs bathroom, all of that. Um, I ended up finding this brand name item. This are Papermate mechanical pencils. Now my son's real, real picky about mechanical pencils. He will not use these, but my daughter will. I'll just have her throw these in her backpack for school. But I thought that's great. Mechanical pencils, even during back to school sometimes, can be a little bit pricey. So grabbed those. Um, I ended up picking up some bandages. Now these are the plastic ones. If you're allergic to plastic, these won't work. They should have some that are latex free, um, but we don't have any allergies. And you get quite a bit of band-aids in here, 60. So nice to just put in the medicine cabinet. Um, I ended up picking, there's several of these. I've talked about these for years. This is one of those things that I just stock up on. It's the Ultra Shine dishwashing tabs. You get 10 per bag. And in my opinion, and most of you agree with me, there's a couple people that don't like these as much as I do, but I think they work just as well as the Cascade or any other name brand. So I grabbed those. Um, I keep this in my car. It's a little travel pack of Band-Aid. Does it have like a first aid? Yeah, it has like an alcohol pad in there. But there's 15 items. And I keep this in my glove box. Invariably, I don't know why, somebody gets a hangnail and pulls it or pops a pimple. <laughs> Sorry, I have teenagers or something. And we need a Band-Aid. So that one in my car now currently has been ravaged. So I just grabbed an extra one. It's always good to be handy, right? Um, the next thing I have is a Pond's facial wipes. Now, I'm not a big wipes girl. Like this would probably last me six months in my makeup bag. But the last time that I was in my travel bag, I used the last wipe up and these are just handy to have when you're on vacation. So I grabbed those. And again, that's a nice brand. $1.25 for wipes, I think is great. Um, I got my daughter a purple Powerade because that's her favorite drink. <laughs> she actually works at a very uh, demanding job. And so if she has a little extra, she's happy. I grabbed these Temptations for my kitties. For some reason, this is the only flavor that all three of them will eat. I don't buy a lot of this like junky stuff for them, but every once in a while, I think it's fun. 
And um, Milo is very, very crafty. He will try and get out. He's gotten out a couple times and haven't, hasn't come back for a week. We've all like felt like we were gonna die because of our, our poor cats out there. And uh, so we've just learned, occasionally we'll just shake the bag, all the cats will come and, and that's our way of hopefully getting him back in if he ever gets out again by that sound. I did pick up some plastic spoons. Do not laugh at me but I'm putting these in my car, just some of these in my car. When I went to Popeye's the other day, I had red beans and rice. They didn't give me a spoon, a fork, nothing. Was I supposed to just scoop it up with my... <laughs> that happens to me every once in a while. And so I literally grabbed these just to have in my car. I'm probably gonna put a few in a Ziploc bag and put in my little center console so that I can eat in my car if I need to. Silly, but true. Oh, this was really cute. This is a, by their Storage Essentials line. I think I've seen these before, but I've never picked it up. I think they're usually in the craft section, but for some reason this was with like the toilet paper and stuff. This is an organizer with lid. And the lid fully comes off. It's not hinged or anything. Um, you can use this for a lot of different things. I was thinking for my desk, for paper clips, rubber bands, whatever, all the little tchotchke things. You could use this for makeup. You could use this for beads or crafting for your kids, whatever you want. But honestly, for $1.25, it is heavy. It's not, some things at the Dollar Tree are like this really flimsy plastic. And if you bend it too far, it will crack. Y'all know what I mean? Like the, the laundry baskets and stuff. This is made really nicely. It's thicker. I think for $1.25, there's a lot of value in that. Um, the past few times I've been in the Dollar Tree, I haven't been able to find these. And because we have said three cats, um, we need these. They're the little, um, you know, sticky lint rollers that you can get cat hair or lint or whatever off of your clothing. I um, have a part-time job. I have to wear black or navy. And so I'm always like lint brushing before I leave the house. I usually have one of these in my car one of these in my closet and then I always have one downstairs like in our command center like as we're going out the door if I see anything I can grab that so because I haven't seen those in a while I grab them and I recommend the green that say extra sticky I think they are extra sticky and they're nice so grab some of those I don't think I've ever seen these before they might have been on the shelf the whole time but my daughter was asking for some spray bottles the other day to spray her hair. Um, she has really curly hair and I thought these were pretty. They come in a bunch of different colors. I got sort of the rose gold and the silver. There was like a, a, a bright shiny kind of gold. And I think there was one other color, maybe black. But I ended up getting these. They're just spray bottles. So she can put like her spray conditioner or her water. But she could also put your cleaning products in here. A lot of cleaning products come now concentrated with a little tab and you fill it up with water. You could use that. But these are nice for $1.25. So I grabbed her two of those. All right. These are my favorite notebooks and they come from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> these are my favorite things to write lists on because they're they're not so big. They're not like a full size, but they're easy enough to throw in my car most of the time I carry a bigger purse, so they fit in my purse. Um, but this is almost always what I make my to-do list on every day. They're nicely ruled. Um, the paper's a little flimsy. I mean, it feels Dollar Tree, but honestly, for what I use it for, that's fine. I take notes for videos, um, contacts, or things that I need to do. I usually have them color-coded by different topics like YouTube, my home, whatever. Um, so I got a green one and a blue one because I had used up all of mine. Um, then I got some adhesive dots. These are just the little sticky dots that you can use when you're crafting. I needed some the other day and I was out of them. This might be my favorite find, y'all. You know I'm a sticker girl and I passed the sticker this particular one, and I needed it in my life. <laughs> did I need it? No, I did not. I'm kidding. However, I'm not sure how I'm going to use it because it's a pop-up sticker, and those don't really work great in my planner, but I think this little flower truck sticker with the awning is just so charming and adorable. I Like I said, I don't know where I'm going to put it. It might end up in my planner. might just be a fun week. It's got lots of little flower stand stickers, too. I just fell in love with that yellow truck. So it came home with me. Y'all, we're not even through the first bag. I had never seen Crafter Square do this before. Again, this might've been one of those items that has been there the whole time, but I got this pack of 70 
needles. We can never find a needle in our house when we need one. So I'm gonna put this in my sewing kit. I'm sorry, my lighting's gonna kind of play with it. You get needles of every size from the smallest to like, not the largest, but pretty big. 70 needles, there you go. Restocking that. And then the last thing in this bag, again, this is probably something I've never paid attention to before, but copy paper, Jot had copy paper. You get 70 sheets or 75 sheets for $1.25. I feel like copy paper is one of those things that's a little expensive too, even at back to school. When my kids were little and in school and we needed to print permission slips and all kinds of stuff, we went through copy paper like this. But now that everybody's kind of out of the house, we don't use that much of it. So 75 would probably last us quite a while. I don't know but I grabbed it. Okay, the next one, I got some red yarn. This is the softest. It's kind of like a chenille. Oh yeah, it says dream chenille in red. Now, the reason I got this is for Christmas. <laughs> I'm really picky about my ribbon and my bows during the holidays, and they get really expensive they get hard to find especially red and white and there's something about i think it's nostalgic for me my mom used to tie some of our um, packages up with yarn um, they used to sell this really pretty yarn at the hallmark store and she would get it and this kind of reminds me of that i think just even if you have brown paper with a red ribbon maybe you stick a little piece of christmas sprig in there from your tree or something it's really pretty but this is so incredibly soft they had it in a ton of different colors. If you see this, grab it. I'm gonna use it for gifts, but I think you could definitely use it for crafting. I got a book. This is called The Spanish Daughter. Um, as a child in Spain, Puri always knew her passion for chocolate was inherited from her father, but it's not until his death that she learns of something else she's inherited, a cocoa plantation in Ecuador. So it talks about Ecuador, I think during World War II, um, but the story looks really good. I have to say, sometimes it's really hard to find adult books at the Dollar Tree, but look for them because when you find a good one, I've never had a bad book from the Dollar Tree. They're usually pretty good. So I grabbed that one. Now you're gonna see two of these. The first one I'm actually going to use as a sign. I just thought he was cute for Easter. He's gonna go kind of behind my tiered tray. He just says, hippity hoppity. Actually, this might be the one that I'm gonna use for crafting. I'll explain, because I think the other one says Happy Easter. I'm gonna use the one that says Happy Easter as the side, and then I'm gonna kind of deconstruct this. Literally, you can take this string off or this ribbon. It's just stapled on there, and I'm gonna use this bunny. I thought he would be cute on my tiered tray. So there'll be a sign behind the tiered tray and with this bunny, and then the bunny itself without the hippity hoppity, I will put on my tiered tray. Isn't he cute? I love his little ribbon, adorable. So I grabbed that. I still haven't finished decorating for Easter. I'm kind of behind. I got another book. This is called North of Happy. Um, it talks about Carlos Portillo has always lived a privileged and sheltered life. He lives in Mexico City with his wealthy family, attending an elite international school. A rule follower, Carlos is happy to tread the well-worn path in front of him. He has always loved food and cooking, but his parents see it as just a hobby. When his older brother, Felix, has dropped out of college to live a life of travel, who is tragically killed, Carlos begins hearing his brother's voice, pushing him to rebel against his father's plan for him. Worrying about his mental health, but knowing Felix is right, Carlos runs away to the United States and manages to secure a job with his favorite celebrity chef. I don't know, that sounded interesting. Dollar twenty-five. Um, and then I ended up getting I got this for my apron at work. I wear an apron and it's really dry in the store that I work at. I don't know why. I just suck down the water. But this is just a chapstick, but it's got a little hint of coral, which is a good color for me. So it, I can moisturize my lips but have a little bit of color. So I grabbed that. And then this is the last book. I've never read like a proper, like Amish genre of book, but this one looked really cute. Um, it basically starts with this, um, this woman named Charlotte. She is newly widowed and somehow she ends up with a baby on her doorstep and she's fallen in love with this baby. She's determined that she's gonna raise it, but then she falls in love 
But the guy that she falls in love with doesn't, I think he's raised his children and he just doesn't want any more. So she's kind of having to choose, I guess, the baby or the husband. I don't really know. Or the, or the boyfriend. I don't know. Anyway, I thought I'd give it a go. Okay. I think that was all for the first bag. Let's go into the second one. Ooh, look how cute this tissue paper is. It's got little rainbows and little stripes. I haven't done Poshmark for a while, but I'm about to Poshmark a bunch of stuff in my closet and I always wrap everything in really fun tissue when I go to ship it. And so I grabbed that in preparation. This was by the register and this might be total crap. I don't know, but it was 50 cents. These are hand sanitizers. This one's cucumber melon and this one's coconut lime. And I asked the lady at the register, I'm like, does this stink? Does it, is it good? And she's like, I don't know. I haven't, <laughs> haven't tried it. It's a nice size hand sanitizer. I want to smell it. They had all kinds of scents. Oh, it's very, very light. This is the coconut lime. Let's just, let's just try it and see if it leaves like a film on your hands. You know, not all hand sanitizers are created equal. Hmm. No, doesn't leave. Oh, whoo. Whoa, that coconut lime dissipated and you just get straight alcohol. Oh, but after the alcohol is gone, you do get the coconut lime. Interesting. Hmm. It says it's scented. It has water, glycerin. Oh, those are the inactive ingredients. The active ingredient is just alcohol. Hmm. I don't know. I grabbed them. I feel like it's always good to have those in your car when you decide to have Popeyes and Krispy Kreme on a day you're going to the Dollar Tree. Okay, that was the second box, bag. The next one we got, when I find these, I always grab them. They're the, the Snyder's Mini Pretzels. These are my favorite pretzels in the whole wide world. I love these. And this bag is a good size for me because I'll eat the whole bag. It's portioned out pretty well. Anything for $1.25 because Snyder's are expensive in the grocery store. You get a lot, a lot of bang for your buck in that one. Um, I was surprised I didn't find, I love the Dollar Tree, their like disposable plates for the holidays. There's always Christmas ones or they had ones for Valentine's Day. I did not see any for Easter in any of the stores I went to. Now I'm a little late to the Easter game and maybe they had them and I just didn't see them. But I did find some for summer and I think these are so pretty with the little popsicles. We have a pool in our backyard. Occasionally, I'll, we'll all go outside. I'll make sandwiches. Or sometimes there's just a day when I don't want to do the dishes. I just call these my mom sanity. But if you're having a party, you get 12. I think I got two packs. Yeah, I got two packs of the popsicle ones because I thought they were so cute. These just have flowers. These would be great for a Mother's Day celebration or a baby shower or even Easter if you're having people over. And this one just says, hello, spring, and it's green. We love, if you live in the South and know Publix, that's our grocery store, they have the best fried chicken. And about once a month, my husband will say, you want Publix fried chicken for dinner? So if we're having a Publix, fr Publix fried chicken dinner, this would be good. Usually I'll make some deviled eggs and we'll have a whole, a whole go at it. My basket fell over, so let me go fill it up and I'll be right back. All right, so the next thing I ended up getting was two of these. And these are really nice too. They're just those chip clips. They're big, but they're not flimsy. A lot of times at the Dollar Tree, because I'm real picky, I want them to have a lot of uh, spring, the spring to be tight. Um, and these are really tight and they're not like that plastic that's going to crack. And you got two. I got the black and red. There was one set that was black and teal. And I also think they had a red and teal version. We typically use clothespins, but I can't find any clothespins pins lately in my house. I don't know where they go. They're like socks in the dryer. They disappear. So I just grabbed those. This is part of the new spring line. They had all of the little tools, but I always change up my flower pots around the pool in the summer. So I will be doing that soon. And that's a cute little, little trowel. Also in the summer, we're out in the back putting chemicals in the pool, spraying the deck down, whatever. And I like to have just a really cheap pair of flip flops and these with the bees. Are adorable aren't they cute they're just good if you're if you're working outside you don't have to have sho like proper shoes on if you're just like hosing down or washing the car or whatever those are perfect um i got some trolley sour bright crawlers i'm gonna put these back in my emergency stash for another day that i need to have a cheat day 
these were my pregnancy craving when I was pregnant with both of my kids. And there's something about them that I still really love. They're not too sour, but they're just sour enough. And for some reason, I picked up these. These are by a company called Coastal Bay and they're watermelon wedges. Should we try these? I feel like we should. Have y'all tried these before? Do you have a favorite snack at the Dollar Tree? Okay, so these have like the sugar. I don't know if that's like a sour sugar or if it's just a sweet sugar. They're very soft, which is a plus. Sometimes you get gummies and they're like hard as a rock. You don't want those. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Those just melt in your mouth and they taste just like a Jolly Rancher. Mmm. Okay, I'm glad I took a chance on those. Take a chance on me. All right, these pens look interesting. They write with two colors. So I don't know if you can see. There, there's two points for each pen. So one pen writes, and it looks like purple and green. And the other pen writes red and blue. These just intrigued me. Should we test these out too? I feel like we should. Because I would want to know if I were you. Okay, so here's what it looks like. You can see the double point, or maybe you can't. There's a double point there. Here is a paper. Just write my name. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a double line there. So purple and green or red and blue. Fun. Okay, I picked up, I don't remember, I hauled these forever ago and then I could never find them again. My daughter went gaga for them and for some reason, I always look for them for the past two years and I've never seen them since. They have these little LA color stamp tattoos. Now, who knows, she's 20 now, if she will even think these are cool, but she used to take like the little star and she put one here or she put one like right here. She had so fun, so much fun playing with these that I just grabbed them again. One's a star and one's a heart and it just has a tip. I feel like at 20, she's still gonna think those are cool. Maybe not. And then I grabbed this little gold basket. This is nice, look how cute that is. I'm gonna put my um, planner spreads, my planner stickers um, when they come in here. So they're all ready to go when I'm ready to plan. It's the perfect size. So if you're a planner, definitely check that out. I think we have one more. No, that's it for over here. All right, let's start over here. All right, remember how I showed you the red yarn? Well, I also, for Christmas, I also got white bows. I collect red and white bows all throughout the year. The Dollar Tree has really great ones. And I have a little tub in my spare room in the closet that I just lay these flat on. So when I'm ready to wrap presents, I always go for red, white, and black Christmas wrap. Invariably, wherever I go, that's always what I gravitate to. So I always try and have red and white ribbon and bows. So there you go. I'm stocked up. Okay, here's my other bunny. I think this is the one that says Happy Easter. Let's look. Yeah, this one says Happy Easter. Oh, and he's brown. I don't even think I realized the other one was brown. And he's got a galvanized ear. Oh, that's going to give me options for my tiered tray. So I can either use deconstruct the brown or the white bunny and use the other one as a sign. You could even use this on a tiered tray if you wanted to. That would be adorable. You could string it, like take this apart and use the ribbon and string Happy Easter so that it's going this way and wrap that like on one of the tiers of your tiered tray. Always look at the Dollar Tree signs because you can paint them, you can deconstruct them, you can do so much with them. All right, so we have two bags left. I always grab one of these. These are the puffs. They're just good. It's kind of allergy season. Got pollen coming everywhere, so these are handy to have. I always try and have one of these on deck um, in my supply. So there we go. Um, here's some more ribbon. I'm obsessed with the ribbon. I found red and white. I had used all of the red ribbon like this, this past Christmas. And obviously you don't, I know, I know it's only March, but I have to, I have to grab it while I think about it. I like to be prepared. I think there's more of this in another bag. Things are just jumping off my desk. Um, Y'all know my obsession with cheddar, broccoli, nor rice or pasta. 
Either one makes me happy, but again, this will be a cheat meal, the cheddar broccoli pasta. This is probably not the best deal. Matter of fact, I know it's not the best deal at the Dollar Tree anymore for $1.25. You can get it at the stores on sale for much cheaper and there's usually coupons, but just to have peace of mind and have it in my cabinet, I ended up grabbing it. Um, this is another one of those things that I just love. My husband's diabetic and so he can't do pasta and that's why I like this little pack. It's only good for two servings. It's the ranch and bacon suddenly salad. So good. So good. Again, this is a cheat meal. Yes, I can make homemade pasta salad much healthier, but that's not the point. Sometimes you have to give in to your craving. <laughs> this one's a really, a really good one. Usually I'll put these back and in the summer I'll do a little pasta salad and have it out by the pool. And then I got some tape, which I had used at Christmas also. All right, we have one more bag. We're almost through. This is the snacks. This is the snack bag. I did get an extra sunny salad. So I have two of those to throw in. I grabbed, I've hauled these before. These lentils are really good. After Christmas, I don't make as many soups and chilies like I'm over it from the fall. But now as it's starting to warm up, go figure, I'm just craving soups and chilies and I wanna make my smoky lentil and sausage soup. And these lentils are fabulous. They're really, really good. And this makes like two and a half pots of soup, I think, maybe three, but their lentils are great. Look at their beans too, if you're looking for that. Um, I found a lot of interesting kind of like trail mix type things. Now I know trail mix does have a lot of extra calories, especially if you're adding the extra stuff that's in here. But every once in a while, I just need a little handful of something to get me to the next meal as I'm eating more like whole foods, fruits, vegetables, and things like that, lean meats. And so these are nice to have. Um, this is a sweet and spicy trail mix. It's got butter toasted pecans or pe peanuts, not pecans, hot Cajun corn sticks, honey roasted peanuts, almonds, pretzel sticks, and honey toasted sesame sticks. So I'm not advocating that this is healthy, but a handful of this will satisfy my craving because it's a little bit of sweet, a little bit of salty, and I'll be good to go until my next, my next eating cycle. Um, now this is the Sweet Chaos popcorn that I love. They have at Christmas, they have a chocolate peppermint drizzled popcorn. It's done impeccably well. But I've never seen this one. It is a honey chipotle popcorn. Now this I've seen sold in stores, this bag for $3.50, $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Let's try this and see. Have you guys tried this chipotle? What is it? Honey chipotle? I just want to give it a go and see if it's quite as good as the chocolate peppermint. Looks like that. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh my gosh, I can't stop eating that. Mm -hmm. Look for this. First you get the honey, and then when it's done, you get that little heat on the back of your tongue. Oh, that's, that's good. I got some banana walnuts. I love walnuts. I thought these would be good in my oatmeal in the mornings. Add a little crunch. Um, I found these pomegranate dark chocolate bites. I got these for my daughter. She loves pomegranate. Um, I ended up picking up, I think I got a couple of these. These are called power blends. There's a sunshine blend that has banana chips, cranberries, almonds, cashews, and blueberries. So it's nuts and dried fruit. And this one is peanuts, almonds, pistachios, hazelnuts, and walnuts. So no dried fruit in this. Um, on Mondays at my job, I work the truck. We unload the truck and scan it all in. And between that and then going to work on the sales floor, I'm a little bit hungry. And so again, like a little handful of this will kind of get me until my shift is over. So that's what I grabbed that for. Um, and then there was one more thing I got and this was the, oh, I thought I got a broccoli cheddar rice, but I guess I got two broccoli cheddar pastas. That was my Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoyed it. I think I found some good stuff. I love that little gold basket for my planner supplies. I really like those disposable plates with the popsicles on them. I'm definitely saving those for summer. I got a lot of really good snacks. I like the chip clips. I like the little bottles. Everything pretty much is consumable and usable. And I had a good time. Um, tell me your favorite thing to shop for.
for at the Dollar Tree. Have you found anything amazing lately that I need to look for? Definitely let me know and I'll see you soon for another video guys. Bye-bye.